Let's take a look at the auction. Our partner opens a diamond. We bid a heart. Partner raises to two hearts and this passes out. That looks like a pretty normal auction. We get the jack and clubs opening lead. We are looking at the 10 and the opponents don't play some sort of Bruce Snow lead. So this is from shortness, either singleton or doubleton jack of clubs. Which means to start with, we can't do something like play king of clubs, a club to the 10, ace of clubs, pitch a spade. Um, West will always rough either the second round of clubs or the third round, so we don't get our spade pitch. Uh, <clears throat> well, we, I mean, we kind of have options available to us. We could start out by trying to rough diamonds in our hand. That feels like the most natural thing to do. The question is just how do I get back to the dummy? I mean, maybe we do something counterintuitive, like win the ace of clubs. That gives up on taking the ten of clubs as a trick. But it gives us the king of clubs as an entry, so I mean we could take a line like ace of clubs, ace of diamonds, diamond rough, club to the king, diamond rough, club rough, diamond rough, something to that effect. It's not the most crazy thing I've ever tried. <clears throat> It's going to look real bad when the Jack of Clubs is singleton, of course. Club to the ace, diamond rough, club up, west roughs, plays a trump. Not great for us. But I'm... I kind of wonder if that's... If that's just a sensible line. <clears throat> we could alternatively try something like cross roughing clubs and diamonds. So we could go king of clubs, club to the ten. If that holds, ace of diamonds, diamond rough, ace of clubs, west has to rough in, or we pitch a spade. We over rough, diamond rough, club. I actually kind of like that line. Again, it's not gonna look too great when clubs are 6-1, uh, are but if clubs are 5-2, it's probably okay. I think I'm going to try that line, because the fact that West has to rough the Ace of Clubs rather than discard means we might be able to get an extra diamond rough in. So let's give it a shot. Jack, King, 4, 5. Could be low from a 5 card suit, so this could be Jack, 2, Doubleton. Okay. And so now we proceed with our plan of trying to cross rough as much as we can. West has high load in the diamond suit, which is interesting. <clears throat> so seven tricks in, we can definitely get an eighth by roughing a diamond with a middling trump of some kind. And it looks like that's going to be all we end up taking. Um, there is one more trump out there. I guess I should pull the last trump. And not much we can do from here. I mean, East has a known diamond remaining. And a club. So East just gets cash to cash a club and a diamond from here. I, I suppose we were going to make another trick if East was down to the stiff jack of spades, but that's not what was going on. 
might have defended differently anyway. But plus 140, not a bad start. We, we could have tried some alternative lines. It just, the hand just felt like a cross ref to me and the whole thing about this deal was just to try and time the cross ref correctly. The fact that West wasn't able to discard a diamond when I played the third round of clubs made it so that I was able to rough another diamond with a low trump. Um, <clears throat> so that might gain us an extra trick, depending on how people time the play of this one. If we do just pull trumps, the king of hearts is on side, but we have to pull four rounds. You'll only end up getting four hearts, a diamond, three clubs, maybe a diamond rough. I, I suppose... If you take a line of play like King of Clubs, Ace of Diamonds, Diamond Rough with like the Eight of Hearts, and then you pull four rounds of Trump, you'll end up taking nine tricks as well. You'll get three clubs, a Diamond, a Diamond Rough, and four hearts. So that's another route to nine tricks, but our line of play didn't require any heart finesses working. It didn't require the Nine of Hearts coming down. It didn't require any sort of good Trump split. It was basically just 5-2 clubs. Okay, on to board two. We have opened a heart with our 14 count and five small hearts. Partner made a limit raise and we accepted. And that looks right to me. You know, once we know that partner has um, four trumps and that, like invitational values, five small hearts becomes much better. So focusing on just having three aces outside, even if we didn't have the club queen, this is probably close to accepting an invite. Now with all that said, partner has a pretty poor hand for us. We have mostly mirrored distribution. And the Queen of Hearts might not be carrying its full weight. You know, if that Queen of Hearts was the Queen of Diamonds, we would be in much better shape. We might lose one diamond trick, and we might still lose zero heart tricks. Uh, but let's see what we can do. I, I don't really think there's going to be much to the play of this hand. I, I should duck the opening spade lead. I think that is step one. You know, maybe there's some chance. I mean, East might be afraid of leading a club away from the jack, for example, looking at 10 third. So they might just return a spade or return a diamond, um, which could let us strip the hand and exit in diamonds to end play West into leading clubs. Uh, if a club comes through, we'll just put in the queen. It's very unlikely given that East passed in first seat, white on red, and West passed over a heart, that there's some wild distribution going on. You know, if I duck this and the King of Diamonds comes through and I play the Ace and it gets roughed, so be it. But I think this offers us some small chance of missed defense. King of Diamonds. Um, it feels like this is from a king-queen combination. I mean, it's, it's possible that East is doing this from, like, King Doubleton, King Jack Doubleton. Wouldn't be the craziest thing to do. So I'm wondering if I want to duck this as well. <laughs> that, I think, is a bit too much. I would be really asking for it if West, like, dumped the jack and then East continued a diamond, which got roughed. I mean, if, if this is King Doubleton, we can hop up the diamond ace, pull two or three rounds of trumps, unblock the spade, and exit in diamonds which would be fine. I, 
May as well try it. I, I'm, I've fooled around enough, I guess, on this hand. Let's... Okay. Interesting. Well, that has to be Queen Jack 10, right? Wow, so this was King Doubleton. And this is Queen Jack 10. Yeah, now we can now we can actually just pull trumps. And the end play is going to work. King Clubs might have been on side anyway. We don't know. Uh, they get a diamond trick when we get a beer. No, the Karen Clubs was offside. Wow. Okay, we'll take that. So, uh, well, let's let's back up and look at that hand once again because I think this brings up an interesting point. Um, sometimes you don't know why cutting communications between the opponent's hand is going to be useful, but it's often a good thing to do because it reduces the possibility for the opponents um, on defense, or it reduces the, the abilities for the opponents to do like all the things they might want to do, like cross to this hand, lead this suit through, and all of that. And we did identify a reason why East might not switch to clubs, it was this ten of clubs in dummy. We said if East has the jack, they might be afraid of leading away from the jack, and it looks like they were. And then we did get the king of diamonds switch from King Doubleton, which really paid off for us. Um, again, this is an inexact science. You you kind of saw I was like wavering a little. Do I duck the king of diamonds? Do I win? Um, if the king of diamonds is head held. Maybe East continues with the diamond anyway, but we would have been giving them an extra opportunity to put a club through. So we kind of correctly identified if this really is King Doubleton, then we do have this chance to end play West, and it all worked out, um, which was kind of cool. Making four hearts when a lot of the field is just going to have to fall back on the club hook, which is not going to work. So, not bad. On to board three. West opens two hearts, double by north, and as a past hand, we bid two spades, that looks about right. Double by north feels somewhat mandatory. I, I don't like overcalling two no trump with queen doubleton. M maybe the only alternative. I, I suppose you could pass. Um, but that doesn't feel like a good thing to do white on red at match points. So double looks right, we just end up in a 4-3 fit. This happens sometimes, that's okay. King of hearts lead, the robots lead king from ace-king. Which means, given West's preempt, East probably has most, if not all, of the remaining high cards. There's room for like either the jack of clubs or queen of diamonds maybe with West. But let's see what happens on the first couple of tricks. King, four, three. We'll play the nine. And the ten, I guess. Jack of club switch. Interesting. Well, given that East has the Club King, and East has the um, Spade Ace, just from the auction, I mean, West has turned up with Ace King, Jack of Hearts, and now the Jack of Clubs, there's no way that they would have opened two hearts. With any other values, East also has the Diamond Queen. We should just pop up with the Ace here and lead a Trump, I think. Because West might get a club rough, but there's nothing we can do to prevent that. 
So let's go ahead and do that. King of clubs. Jack of clubs with singleton. Club rough. Um, I suppose I should unblock the queen just in case. And the jack of hearts. Right. So we need to guess what's going on in spades now. I, I mean, I'm going to rough with the spade queen, so let's go ahead and do that. East pitches a club. So we know west started with at least two spades, six hearts, exactly one club, and some number of diamonds. We don't know how many. It feels right to me to not hook the spade. I don't know why. So west is either three, six, three, one. In which case I could just play king, jack of spades. Or west is something like two, six, four, one. In which case I need to play a spade to the nine. Or west maybe could be four, six, Two one, I, I doubt it. I really doubt West is four six two one. <clears throat> but in that case, I would need to play the King Jack of Spades. I don't have a good reason to do one or the other. So I believe um, maybe they'll give me diamond count if I lead the diamond ace. <laughs> Let's try this. Ace, three, eight, two. Hmm. That doesn't feel like they're giving me diamond count, does it? West did low high, East just followed with small cards. I mean, it would, it would be nice if I could play another diamond. If East pops up with a queen, I would have diamond count. I... Shouldn't I unblock the jack of diamonds? Oh, under the ace? Do you think that's going to cause them to give me better count? The fact is, I know that West has a bunch of small diamond cards. Four of spades to the eight, huh? I feel like I'm supposed to play him from the top. I, I don't know why I'm supposed to play him from the top. I mean, I make against every three, three spade split, and I also make against, no, that's it. It's just like I only make against three, three. I don't know. I was incorrect. Well, that kind of sucked. Wait, 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 wait. 
Wes dropped with the Ten of Spades. Did I miss that? Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm just so dumb. I spent a long time agonizing. I could have just... <laughs> yeah, you're tapping between three streams. I totally understand. This has been... This is not the most exciting bridge event going on right now. Well... <clears throat> I wasn't paying attention. I have to admit. I'm paying less attention than Brad is to the hand, I'm sure. Uh, Alright, on to the next board. I've already played the first trick. Pass, a heart by partner, two clubs by east. I bid two spades. Three diamonds by partner, we jump to four spades. This seems... Well, the hand feels a bit straightforward at this point. Club lead, trump switch, I mean we basically just pull as many trumps. Unblock the heart, cross to dummy, pitch a club on the king of hearts. And apparently we're losing two trump tricks. Queen Jack fourth over here. So that one feels pretty flat. <laughs> Two spades down one. After I did so well on the previous board, now I just got a zero on board three. Oopsies. Board five. One diamond by north. We bid a heart. Two diamonds by north. We bid two spades. Partner raises to three spades and we bid four hearts. This makes sense. Three spades can't be natural. Yeah, it shows three. Because partner would bid one spade rather than two diamonds if they had four of them. And we bid four hearts. I don't... I'm not sure I really like the way this auction has gone down. What would I do differently? A diamond, a heart, two diamonds, two spades, three spades. Well, I hate the three spade bid. <laughs> In general, I, I suppose maybe three spades is specifically denying a club stopper. But in that case, if partner really has no values in clubs, we have a great hand. Ace, king of diamonds, king of spades over there, and we're practically cold for a slam in hearts. I would do something other than four hearts, I, I guess. Just thinking, you know, ace, king of diamonds, king of spades, which is only a 10 count, right? And partners denied clubs because they haven't bid no trump here. This seems very plausible. Partner could have extras. I mean, they could have ace, king, queen of diamonds and basically nothing else. Then we eventually win a black suit lead, pull four rounds of trump, and then run the diamond suit pitching our spade losers. I think... I think slam is just a little too likely. But anyway, let's see where we ended up. Oh, of course partner has a club stopper. <laughs> because that makes sense. Can't bid two no trump over two spades with a club stopper. Yeah, three spades is a terrible bid. It puts a lot of pressure on this hand. And there's no way to sensibly investigate slam. Also, you just paint the wrong picture of what your hand looks like. But here we are. So everyone else is also here. Queen of clubs lead. We do not want east on lead. So no reason to put up the king. We'll just play low. Diamond switch. Hmm. Okay. Is there any chance clubs are 8-1? No. Oh, this is not the hand. It was, it was the previous board that East had overcalled two clubs. That's what I'm remembering. So in this auction, yeah, East never bid. Uh, but there is some chance that diamonds are... 4-1. So like, if I duck this trick, then 
East might win, give their partner diamond rough. I don't know what the alternative is though. Like if I if I win this with the ace and just pull trumps, then I'm down to playing on the spade suit. You would duck this too because you're also fish. It's a much better play to duck against human opponents than the robots. I'll put it that way. Human opponents could easily have the king of diamonds with West. Here, there's just zero chance that West has the diamond king. I mean, it can work. You know, we duck this and East doesn't work out what to do. They switch to spades or something. We pop ace, trumps. We pull trumps and then run the diamond suit. But if East wins and plays the diamond back, dummy is isolated. We risk a diamond rough. I don't know, it's probably fine. I think West would lead the stiff diamond instead of the queen of clubs if they had it. So let's give this a try. Okay, they do go after the ace of clubs. Well, now that the king of clubs is set up, we, we actually have multiple discards. I unfortunately can't play for a beer. I mean, I could, but it would be the wrong line. If I pitch a spade, I mean, I could pitch the spade queen, um, but I can't afford to cash the last heart, I don't think. Or maybe I can. Maybe it's okay to cash the last heart. We can pitch the queen of spades. Pitch a diamond. No, this doesn't work. because I would then have to catch the spade ace. Yeah, this this doesn't work. I, I should just overtake the jack of diamonds and see what happens. Yeah, diamonds are 3-2 and the robots felt like they wanted to cash out. Little did they know, just returning diamonds would have cut my communications. I'm, I'm looking to see if there's any way I can sensibly beer I don't think so. Oh, unless I've missed a diamond. Let's let's try the uh, <laughs> the cheeky claim. Okay, no diamonds are not breaking. Good to know. No beer, but we do make eleven tricks. Yeah, the, so, you know, I wasn't thinking about something crazy this time. Queen of clubs, nine of diamond switch. I mean, if we put on the double dummy, the only way to actually make the hand from here is to pop up with the diamond ace. They do, in fact, get a diamond rough, which not only gives them two diamond tricks, but also cuts off the entire diamond communication. And... So popping up with the diamond ace, pull all of our trumps, and then hope that we can bring the spades home for three tricks is the only legitimate way to make the contract. I think there was enough reason to duck the diamond. You know, this missed defense is kind of a good example of it. I mean, this was some pretty awful missed defense, in fact. East cashing the club ace. Like, the fact that East has four diamonds, they know their partner doesn't have jack nine double ten. It would be insane to lead the nine from that. But it happened. Uh, anyway, we're on to the next board. We are in six no trump. 
And this looks like a pretty good contract. We can take five clubs, five diamonds, and two hearts. If the clubs come home, we still only have 11 tricks, right? No, no, no. If the clubs come home, we do have 12 tricks. So let's win the king, and I'm going to lead the nine of clubs. Not because I plan on running it, but there's no risk, right? When, unless if I play a club to the queen, can I still pick up four zero clubs on side? Club to the queen, cross and diamonds, nine of clubs, ten jack. Now, I can't pick it up if he plays the deuce on the first round of the club suit. So let's go ahead and play the nine. They forgot to take their ace of spades. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, so what happened here? Jack of hearts lead, club to the queen and king, and then west continued hearts. I don't like it. I think West should probably get this problem correct. You know Hearts doesn't help. I mean, the King of Hearts won the first trick in Debbie, so partner can't have the ace. A diamond switch doesn't look right, that's the longer suit. So if East does have the diamond ace, then you'll still be able to collect it eventually. So spade switch looks right. Continuing hearts just feels like a cop-out. Not really trying to beat the contract, just trying not to give up any tricks. But, okay. Uh, next one. South opens a no trump. North bids two spades. Some sort of minor suit hand, I think. We bid two no trump, showing no fit. Three diamonds showing long diamonds. Apparently three hearts is natural. I don't understand bidding three hearts natural here. We shouldn't really be looking for a heart fit on this auction. Four hearts by north. Four or more clubs, four or more hearts, six or more diamonds. Something about that doesn't really add up to me. But okay. Here we are. We have the, as foretold, four or more hearts, four or more clubs, and six or more diamonds. Perfect. Okay. Ten of clubs lead. So this could be from length. It could be like ten nine eight fourth or something, or it could just be ten doubleton. East followed with a small club. So East is known to have the ace and jack from this opening lead. and maybe some other cards as well. Well, how do I want to play it? If I pick up the diamond suit from here, which I could do, I could go spade rough, guess the diamonds somehow, pull all the trumps, and then run six diamonds. We take the rest of the tricks. Spade rough, five hearts, and six diamonds, plus the one club we've already collected. If I want to be safe about it, I could do something like lead a diamond to the jack right now? I guess that's not entirely safe. I could rough a spade and run the jack of diamonds. That would be safe, I think. That would be my imp line. <laughs> rough a spade, run the jack of diamonds. Even if West wins and gives their partner a rough, East is the one with the entry to the Ace of Clubs. So they can't get another another rough. I, I don't hate that line, actually. I 
I wish I knew if West was leading from club length or club shortness. It went 10, small, 5, and I won the queen. What did I play from dummy? The 3? 10, 3, 5, queen. So again, this could be 10, 9, 8, either 3 times or 4 times, and East has ace, jack, 5. This could be 10, doubleton, and East played the 5 kind of encouraging from like ace, jack, 9, 8, 5, or ace, jack, 9, 5, 4 maybe. Ace, jack, 8, 5, 4, also possible. We don't really know. One thing we do know is that the opponents have a lot of spades. East did not bid spades, so I think West actually has spade length. Which makes me believe... I mean, I didn't... I don't mean bid spades. East didn't double two spades for, like, elite direct. And West didn't show a single suitor over a no trump. Huh. There is another possibility. I could rough a spade, play a diamond to the king, rough another spade, and then over, well, try and pull to the trumps in three rounds. This kind of limits my damage if I misguess the diamonds. If spades are 5-5, five, five, then my suspicion is West has led from club shortness, so they, it's probably a doubleton club. So West might be something like 5-3-3-2, three, three, like that exact shape. I think that's very possible. In which case, diamond to the king, diamond to the jack is actually the lion. I could play a diamond to the jack right now. It kind of gives up on a spade rough. I mean, like, I could still play diamond to the jack, heart to the ace, spade rough, but then I need hearts to be 3-2. Five, three, seven, nine. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for all the tricks, and I think I am going to play a diamond to the jack. Okay, West is the one with two hearts. That does make it a little more likely that West has diamond length. Do I want to play a diamond to the jack immediately, or do I want to play the king of diamonds and then a diamond to the jack? That's another important question. Because diamond to the jack picks up four, um, four zero diamonds, but king of diamonds diamond does not.
Okay. What's what's shape again that that I'm I was thinking of? So I originally thought five three three two. Now it could be five two four two, or they might have extra club length. I mean they could be. They could be five two two four. Yeah, 5224 is definitely possible. They could be 5233. Three. I guess I'll go King of Diamonds, Diamond to the Jack. And there's one small extra consideration, like if I just play a diamond to the jack and it loses, east might not work out the right defense. No, they'll, they'll always work out the right defense. Okay, king of diamonds, diamond to the jack, I believe. I could cash another heart first. I, I guess I may as well. There is a club discard. East pitches a spade. Um. Okay. I did not beer, but we'll take it. Looks like every line of play was gonna work. Diamonds 2-2 two, two with the queen on side. So west was 5-2-2-4. Two, two, that was the only shape that I was gonna lose to. So, I don't know. Tough hand to think everything through, but we took all the tricks. Six no in the south. My, my guess is these hands are not going to be particularly interesting. Oh, this one's actually a little interesting. Off the top, we have um, five clubs, three diamonds, and four tricks in the majors, which is 12. We could play on some sort of two-way guess for the spade queen, or we could hope diamond split, or we could play for some sort of squeeze. Normally, the right answer is to combine some of these chances somehow. So I, I believe we absolutely want to test the diamonds first. Oh, but... What do I pitch from the south hand on the third diamond? Maybe we don't test the diamonds first. Maybe we do something like... Win a heart, run all of the clubs, throwing two diamonds, cash another heart, pitching a diamond. That, that's probably the right line. That, that looks pretty simple to me. And then when we do end up pitching on the third diamond, we'll have more information. Claim down one and go to bar. What? Did they really lead away from the... <laughs> okay, this hand became far less interesting now. How about claim plus one and go to bar? They led a low heart from queen jack six against six no trump. Well done. Well, that might be the most straightforward hand of the entire set. Ooh, there is a lot of bidding on this one. Okay, partner open diamond. We bid a spade. West made a takeout double. Or not a takeout double, a double showing clubs and hearts. That's what this shows. Support redouble. 
two clubs by east. We bid two hearts. What? Why did we bid two hearts? A limit major raise. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course two hearts is a... I would just bid two spades. I mean, it's great that we found this nine card spade fit, but the queen of hearts is not a good card. We have nothing in the partner suit, just no values. Just bid two spades. I don't understand two hearts. Two spades by West. <laughs> Another takeout double. Everyone's just bidding the opponent's suit. This is great. Three diamonds by North. I guess natural? I, I don't understand three diamonds in this auction. Because if two hearts really is a limit raise, you can't just re-invite with three diamonds. So I, th I, the robots seem to think you can, but this should really be some sort of slam try, I guess. We bid three spades, I'll pass. Perfect. Uh, king of hearts lead, ace from ace king. This could be a five card heart suit. You know, the two suited takeout double can easily be made on 5-4, even with five cards in a major. Um, so we have two heart losers, at least maybe a heart rough is coming, a club loser, at least one diamond loser. That's how they describe long suit trials as forcing to three spades. Sure, but there's no such thing as a re-invite. So if two hearts was like an invite in bridge, then three diamonds can't be a re-invite. Um, I mean, you can do this. Maybe it's very old fashioned to be like, I'm invitational. Well, over your invitation, I also want to know if you're a minimum or a maximum. But that's just not modern bridge, as far as I know. You have one invitational bid, things that don't sign off or blast game or just slam tries, I believe. King of Hearts. I discourage. Play a different suit. Ace of Hearts. I mean, I have plenty of hand entries. I'm going to dump the queen. I, I would prefer to win the third round of hearts in hand, but I'm still going to have to pull trumps no matter what happens. King of Clubs will win the ace. So West is sitting over here. West has most of the high cards for their side, but that's pretty normal. On the auction, they've sh made a takeout double and then showed a strong hand when their partner, as far as I know, two clubs doesn't even show values. You, you sometimes just have, this is conventional. You might need to make an agreement with your partner, but um, I think it's normal to play that this doesn't show values. It's just like escaping from some sort of awkward redouble. Um, so West has turned up with Ace King of Hearts, King Queen of Clubs. They might have the Diamond Ace. We don't know for sure. Probably do. Hearts, we're splitting. <laughs> okay, well, that's going to make um, my diamond guess pretty easy. They can have a trick. I think the diamond ace was on side. It was. Yeah, an east two club bid did not show values. Three boards to go. So aside from my giant blunder on board three, where I just gave up a trick for no reason. Uh, looks like we're doing okay in this set. 
One diamond by us, one heart by West. A two heart limit raised by our partner. We bid two no. Looks good. And partner raised to three no. Okay. Partner sitting on the 13 count. We just have our 13 that we opened with. Looks about right to me. West didn't lead their own suit. Good enough to bid, good enough to lead, as they say. But that would have worked out poorly at match points for them, leading away from the Heart King. So... Four clubs lead. If this is also from length, no guarantee, I mean, Especially for the robots, they might just be leading from three small or even a doubleton club. But if this is from length, I, I think I definitely want to take the diamond hook through east. I might want to do it anyway. Because I want to keep east off lead, prevent east from leading hearts through. It's a little interesting that East didn't raise hearts, which could mean West has a six card suit. Yeah, East with four trumps might have been three hearts here. Very possible. But I do think East has one of the spade honors. Because even against no trump, Ace from Ace King is still a pretty decent opening lead. I think I am going to take the diamond hook through East. Okay, diamonds were 2 2 once again. Was not going to get that one wrong no matter what I did. So now our whole objective is just, is there a way we can convince West into leading hearts into us? I don't think so, but maybe. I suppose let's run the diamonds. Heart pitch from East is interesting. Now East throws clubs. So let's play clubs and end in... Normally it would be natural to end clubs in the dummy so we can lead a spade up, but I'm, I'm pretty sure East has a high spade. Which is why I'm thinking... Maybe leading a spade towards the 10 can cause West to make a mistake. It's hard to imagine how, though. Hmm. Oh, you know what? If East has the king of spades, maybe I can lead spades off the dummy. East might not work out to fly. I can, like, put in the eight. Yeah, let's, let's give this a try, actually. <clears throat> Two of spades to the nine, huh? Okay, we let's let's think a little bit about possible spade holdings. Obviously, I should have done this earlier. If East has king nine third, there's just nothing I can do against king nine third. I 
think I'm just gonna play low. Like if West really started with something like Ace Jack Doubleton in the spade suit, we know that West is either two six two three or um, three five two three. Oh, and a heart comes through. Well, good defense ops. Oh my, West didn't lead from ace king third or from their king fifth. And East did have four hearts. So I was kind of wrong about everything. That's too bad. There wasn't really anything I could do double dummy, but maybe if I had ended in hand with the clubs and let a low spade, West might have gotten a little scared and gone king of spades, ace of spades, spade, giving me my spade queen as an extra trick. I suppose that's possible. All right, two boards to go. At least we made our contract, that's the good news. One club by us, one heart by our partner, one spade by us, and now West comes in with two clubs, so they have a natural club suit. Five or more clubs, of course. Three clubs by North. Looks like it's forcing with spades, we bid three no. Partner bids four spades. Okay. I'm not sure I like 3-0. We, we don't really have two club stoppers. I mean, if West has king, queen, jack, 10, sixth, we're missing a key spot card here as a second stopper. But here we are. So king of clubs lead. Well, Let's win the ace and take a spade hook. I think that's the start of whatever we're doing. We don't really have entries to dummy to rough out the hearts immediately. So I, I think the plan is basically to try and draw trumps. We can use our clubs to set up a trick. Set up a second trick. That ten of clubs and dummy is a big card for us. Do I want to consider bad trump breaks? Like, what if spades are 4 1? I play a spade to the queen, it loses. I don't think so. Hey, Proquar, happy holidays to you as well. I think I'm just playing a spade to the queen. Okay, five, nine, queen, two. So even if it's king doubleton, I can't really uh, do everything I want. I believe now we probably want to rough a heart, then spade to the ace, rough the last heart. We end up doing okay if the king of diamonds is on side. This, this feels good to me. Let's try it. Hmm. Somewhat concerned the hearts are 5 2 now. <laughs> okay. If I rough a heart and it gets over roughed, then I'm in huge trouble, aren't I? Yeah.
because then it goes club club. We get some giant Trump promotion thing going on. That would be real bad. So maybe that's not the plan. I had a plan, it just turns out that it's no longer any good. All right, then I'm gonna pull another round of trumps. And one more round of trumps. Okay, we have taken 11 tricks. I approve. Hearts were 5 2. King, Queen, Jack, Fifth of Clubs, and just a random 13 count. Yeah, way to, way to go. You definitely want to let the opponents bid for a while and then come into the auction. How bad is two clubs doubled on their part? They lose two spades, they lose two hearts, they lose two diamonds, and they lose two clubs. It's only 500. Still better for us than the value of our game. Last board. Pass, pass, pass. Why is this alerted? <laughs> this... <laughs> I'm, I'm not even gonna... There's so many things wrong with the way this is described. We're fourth seat. Okay, pass, pass, pass. We open a spade. Partner bids two spades. We pass. Nice alert. Well, what, what's my plan here? I could unblock the Heart King and try and take spade hooks through east. But I think if I unblock the Heart King, they're just always going to switch to clubs, and that's not really what I want. Maybe there's no, no way around it. OK, let's unblock the King of Hearts. Here comes the club switch. Or not. There's the club switch. A bit late. Four clubs, two queen. So there is some reason to duck this. If I think clubs are 4-2, with West having four of them... Four, two, queen. So West was not comfortable leading a club at trick two. But now that a spade has been pulled, they figured they had to switch to clubs. Hmm. Interesting. I'm just gonna win the ace. I don't know, let's not be clever about this. Play a diamond over, we're gonna lead another spade. East wins. Spades are not splitting. We go king of clubs. And long tank, another club. Yep. Hard is a good play. Okay, now I can take the spade hook and plus 110. Clubs were 3-3. Three, three. Not much we could do about that one. They did eventually work out to play clubs. So aside from board three, I think we did all right this set. Let's see what our, what our results are. If we get a pop-up, here we go. 
We have 61 